Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Sorry if I feel a bit like my voice feels a bit different this morning. I've just woken up um, legit like half an hour ago and I've just found out the news that Piro has signed the contract. I woke up, saw the news and I'm thrilled with it, you know. Uh, we needed a striker. This is a statement signing for the club in my opinion. Um, he did really well last season. As everyone knows, he's been linked with us. Throughout basically his whole transfer window, you're like, nah, we're not going to get him, are we? Nah, we're not. And then all of a sudden, bang, Joe Pirro is coming to Leeds United. Um, he hasn't really done much this season. You know, he's only he's played he played three games. So he's played the games this season with zero goals and zero assists, but that's just this season. He hasn't really started off on a great foot, but he's a good striker, and I think he'll do a, give a lot uh, to the team. He did play in the um the EFL Cup. I can't remember who they played, but he got two goals in that game. Um, while only playing thirty one minutes. So, okay, so he is a striker who could also play attack in midfield. And um, let's go on to the last season. So on the heat map last season, he played around most of his footballs either play in the box as the striker, of course, or it, a lot of like the red red the red um um heat map is like on the right. So he, he comes into the right a lot. It looks like he, like he comes into the right a bit um, and works on the – not not fully on the right, but just a bit over to the right, um, like a like like a right centre mid, like a right – like where the cam would be, but a bit on the right, like not that far on the right, just a bit. Um, so that looks like when he plays most of his football, it's on the right, um, you know, so he drops deep, gets the ball. You know, as we saw last season, as we know last season, he scored 19 goals. He t played a total of 43 games, started in all 43. Um, he had 19 goals and he had a, he had two assists. Um, that was last season. Um, in the championship, he had a really good season. He looks like a good player. His weak, his strengths here it says he's an anchor play and a long shot. He's good at long shots. So. We need that because we don't really have anyone that can really hit long shots. So that would be a good idea to get someone in that can hit one and into the back of the net. Um, he's not good at ground duels and aerial duels, um, it says here. To be honest, I haven't really seen him play properly, so I don't really know. Because um, everyone says the eye test is better than the actual stats test. As everyone, sh like, you know. But I think it's a good signing. I think it's a statement signing for the club. And I think it's big for this season because he's going to come in and other players, like, that we're close to or might get, they'll be like, oh, Joe Puro went. Maybe I'll come in. Yeah, I'll come in. I'll come in. And hopefully we can start saying a couple of signings before the end of the window. What I would want to see is about three signings before the end of the window. I want to see a cam. I want to see a left back. And I want to see a CDM. They're the three positions I want to see. I want to see at least two of them. Um, But, yeah, I'm excited for Joe Puro. And I think he's going to have a good season for us. Um, I think he's going to score some goals. <laughs> I mean, we do need that. We need a goal scorer, and that's what he is, you know. 19 goals last season. He is a goal scorer, um, and I'm excited to see him play because I think, you know, it's something we need. So, yeah, are they... It's something we need. So, yeah, um, I'm excited. Um, you know, it says, it says this season that on his heat map, he hasn't really gone into the box this season, he has not really been in the box at all, uh, rarely. Um, his biggest heat map is in the center circle, um, and then mostly on the yeah on that right side, on that right side and attack. Um, so he must drop into the right. So I guess he'll drop into the right, and whoever playing in the ten will move forward into like moving forward up front, I guess. Or you know, people are saying that he doesn't fit our system and doesn't fit the way we play. But for me, if anyone can get the best out of him and turn turn him into a different player, or just Make him play differently, but still play really well. Daniel Fark. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, that's our first signing um, that we needed to get in the door late on. Like, what is there, seven days left of the transfer window? This was massive. Um, hopefully, we can bring in another two or three. But how, I want to know in the comment section down below, what are your opinions on Joe Perra? Are you happy? Because um, I'm, really, I'm really excited, and I think he'll do good for us. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!